हेलो एवरी वन आई एम स्वाति कल हमने पॉलिटी क्वेश्चन डिस्कस किए थे यू पी एस सी प्रलम्स एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से पॉलिटी का अच्छा खासा वेटेज होता है और प्रलम्स कट ऑफ क्लियर करने के लिए काफ़ी इम्पॉर्टेंट है आज हम हिस्ट्री डिस्कस करने वाले हैं कल वाले वीडियो का लिंक मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिया है हमारी वीडियो स्टार्ट करने से पहले आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which of the following statement about sannyasis and fakir disturbances rebellion are correct? First, Governor General Warren Hastings faced the persistent sannyasi fakir disturbances in Bengal and Bihar. Second, there was a number of Shaivite Naga sannyasi who formed into the armed bands. Third, Majnu Shah who led bands into Bengal from 1771 was a prominent leader. अब इनमें से करेक्ट कोड यूज़ हमें करना है जो कि बी है दैट इज़ फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड थर्ड तीनों ही स्टेटमेंट सही हैं गवर्नर जनरल वॉरन हैस्टिंग के टाइम पे सन्यासी फ़कीर डिस्टर्बेंसेस हुए थे बंगाल बिहार में दूसरी बात ज़्यादातर शेवाइट नागा सन्यासी फॉर्म्ड इनटू टू आर्म्ड बैंड्स एंड थर्ड मजनू शाह लीड द बैंड इन टू बंगाल फ्राम सेवनटीन सेवेंटी प्रोमिनेंट लीडर सो ऑल थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Which one of the following statement with regard to रेतवारी settlement is not correct? रेतवारी settlement को लेकर इनमें से कौन सा statement सही नहीं है A. In southern and western India, the रेतवारी settlement was adopted. B. रेतवारी in principle a direct contract between the रेत and the state. C. It means the tax contract valid for usually थर्टी years. D. In principle, it strengthened the former elite, the जमींदार्स and weakened the peasantry. So the Not correct statement among these. C. It means कि एक direct contract valid for usually थर्टी years. ये statement uh, not correct है बाकी correct है यानी कि southern और western India में रेतवारी settlement को adopt किया गया था रेतवारी एक direct contract होता था peasant और state के बीच में सीधे होता था In principle, इस system ने former elite, that is जमींदार्स को तो strengthen किया और peasantry को weaken किया रेतवारी सेटलमेंट थॉमस मुनरो ने इंट्रोड्यूस किया था और इसे प्रैक्टिस किया गया था मद्रास बॉम्बे आसाम कुर्ग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट द एक्ट फिफ्थ ऑफ 1843 रिलेटिंग टू स्लेवरी इन इंडिया इज करेक्ट ए इट गिव द मास्टर्स द राइट टू विलफुली कीप देयर स्लेव टाइट टू देयर एस्टेट्स बी It denied the masters the use of courts to assert their claims on slaves. C. The law courts and masters work jointly in resolving the cases of desertion. D. The slaves became the owners of the land. So the correct answer is B. It denied the masters the use of courts to assert their claims on slaves. Next question. Which one of the following statements about the Gandhi Irwin Pact of 1931 is correct? A the government would not release those prisoners who had been non-violent B the government would not release those prisoners who had indulged in the peaceful picketing of the liquor and the foreign clothes clothes shops C the congress did not agree to the suspension of civil disobedience movement D the congress agreed to take part in the second round table yahan pe hame correct statement batana hai to in char mein se jo D statement hai wo correct hai that is congress agreed to take part in the second round table फर्स्ट वन रॉन्ग इसलिए क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट ने वुड नॉट रिलीज गवर्नमेंट एग्री कर गवर्नमेंट एग्री हो गई थी रिलीज करने के लिए उन प्रिजनर्स को जो कि नॉन वॉयेंट रहे हैं गवर्नमेंट एग्री टू रिलीज दोज प्रिजनर्स हु इंडल्ज इन द पीसफुल पिकेटिंग ऑफ लिकर एंड फॉरन क्लोथ्स एंड कांग्रेस ने इसके रिस्पॉन्स uh, में सिविल डिसोबीडियंस मूवमेंट को सस्पेंड करने की बात स्वीकार ली थी The 13th century Lekha Padidi gave us information on which one of the following topics: A, art of writing; B, essay writing; C, legal document; D, epigraphic style. Correct answer is C, legal document. होता था Lekha Padidi. It's a collection of Sanskrit documents written between 8th and 15th century during the Chalukya rule in Gujarat. India it contains rules for drafting variety of documents like documents relating to land grants treaties between the rulers and the rule of administration Who among the following was the founder of Veera Shaiva movement in Karnataka A Baswan B Apar C Sambandar D Sundarar So correct answer is A Baswan 
This began in Karnataka in the mid 12th century. This movement argued strongly for equality of all human beings and against Brahminical ideas about the caste and the treatment of the women. They were against all forms of ritual and the idol worship. Which one of the following statement about sculptures at Sanchi is are correct? First, in some sculpture there is a representation of Shel Bhanjika. Second, the figure of Shel Bhanjika is represented by a woman surrounded by lotuses and elephants. Third, the Shel Bhanjika motif was not directly inspired by the Buddhist ideas. Correct answer is A. That is, all three statements are correct. Next question. In the 19th century, peasants in various parts of India rose in revolt against money lenders and grain dealers. Second, in May 1875, at village Supa in Pune district in Bombay, Deccan, the peasant attacked shopkeepers, burnt their bahikhatas account books, looted grain shops, and set fire to the houses of the sahukars. In which one is statement correct? Hai? So answer is C. Dono hi statement correct. Hai. That is, in the 19th century, peasant in various parts of India rose in revolt against money lender and grain dealers. Is correct. Second, in May 1875, at village Supa in Pune district in the Bombay Deccan, peasant attacked the shopkeepers, burned their bahikhatas, looted grain shops, set the fire to the house of the Saukar. Both statement correct. Deccan riots 1875 में हुए थे. The uprising शुरू हुई थी uprising Supa village Pune district. 1875 farmers ने attack किया market places पे जहाँ पे money lenders रहते थे. They burned उनकी books जला दी गई and looted the grain shops. Which one of the following was not a part of Kautilya Saptang theory of the state? A. Amatya. B. Janpada. C. Durga. D. Dhamma. Answer is Dhamma. Dhamma was not a part of Kautilya Saptang theory. Seven Saptang जो Kautilya ने बताए हैं वो इस प्रकार हैं Swamin, Amatya, Janpada, Durga, Kausha, Danda, Mitra. Next. Rumindai pillar inscription and Nigali Sagar pillar inscription provided clear evidence of Ashoka faith in Buddhism. Second, minor rock edict first gave evidence of a sudden change in Ashoka faith in Buddhism. In which dono which konsi statement correct hai? To answer is C. Dono hi correct hai. Ki Rumindai pillar inscription, Nigali Sagar pillar inscription evidence dete hai Ashoka ka faith jo Buddhism mein tha uske. And second is minor rock addict first give evidence of a sudden change in Ashoka faith in Buddhism. Minor rock addicts pandra uh, jage paaye jate hai country mein in Afghanistan mein paaye jate hai aur wahan pe Ashoka ka name milta hai. Ashoka uses his name only in the four of these places. First is Maski, second Brahmagiri, third Kuchara, fourth Netur. Lumbini pillar edict in Nepal is known as Rumindai pillar inscription. This record that sometime after the 20th year of his reign, Ashoka travelled to the Buddha's birthplace and personally made offerings. He then had a stone pillar set up and reduced the taxes of the people in that area. Who among the following belong to the Sirampore mission? A. William Carey B. Joshua Masham C. William Ward D. David Hare The answer is C. William Carey, Joshua and uh, William Ward, all three associated with the Sirampur Mission. The Sirampur Mission is India's first Christian missionary organization. This mission started preaching the message of Jesus from two places in Hooghly. About 200 years later, a Protestant church was built in Sirampur. William Carey established this church on 17th August 1761. Which one of the following pairs of newspaper and editor not correctly match? A. Navjeevan Mahatma Gandhi B. Maratha Balgangadhar Tilak C. Bengali Surainath Banerjee D. Voice of India Gopal Krishna Gokhale So all three A, B, C correct and D is not correct That is Voice of India Jo tha wo Gopal Krishna Gokhale ki dwara nahi tha Voice of India Dada Bhai Naroji ki dwara tha Next Thirteenth Which one of the following was a nationalist newspaper published from Bombay? A. Som Prakash B. Rasht Goftar C. Advocate D. Akbariyam B. Rasht Goftar which was published from Bombay se publish hua karta tha. This was an Anglo-Gujarati paper operating from Bombay 1854 by Dada Bhai Naroji and Khardesh Ji Kama Which of the following statement about Akbar is correct? First, in 1560, Akbar had the fort of Agra constructed 
सेकेंड फिफ्टीन सेवेंटीज अकबर डिसाइडेड टू बिल्ड अ न्यू कैपिटल एट फतेहपुर सीकरी थर्ड अकबर ऑल्सो कमीशन अ वाइट मार्बल टॉम ऑफ शेख सलीम चिश्ती एट सीकरी इन फिफ्टीन एटी फाइव अकबर डिसाइडेड टू शिफ्ट द कैपिटल बैक टू आगरा इनमें से कौन सी स्टेटमेंट करेक्ट है तो फर्स्ट सेकेंड और थर्ड करेक्ट है दैट इज इन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी अकबर हैड द फोर्ट फॉर आगरा कंस्ट्रक्टेड फिफ्टीन सेवेंटी अकबर डिसाइडेड टू बिल्ड अ न्यू कैपिटल एट फतेहपुर सीकरी एंड थर्ड इज अकबर ऑल्सो कमीशन अ वाइट मार्बल टू ऑफ शेख सलीम चिश्ती एट सीकरी नेक्स्ट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट अमर नायकाज ऑफ विजयनगर आर करेक्ट फर्स्ट The Amar Naikas were military commanders who were given territories to govern by the Rai. Second, in lieu of their service and also to maintain their contingents, they were paid in cash. Third, they maintained stipulated contingents and elephants. Fourth, they used to send tribute to the king annually and personally appeared in the royal court with gifts to express their loyalty. So the correct statement among these: first, third, and fourth. First says the Amar Naikas were military commanders who were given territories to govern by the Rai. Third says they maintained stipulated contingents and elephant. Fourth says they used to send tribute to the king annually and personally appeared in the royal court with gift to express their loyalty. Amar Naik system was a major political innovation of the Vijayanagar Empire. It is likely that many features of the system were derived from the Ikta system of the Delhi Sultanate. These were military commanders who were given territories to govern by the Rai. They collected taxes and other dues from peasants, craftsmen, trades in area. They retained part of the revenue for personal use and for maintaining stipulated contingent of horses and elephants. With these contingent, Vijayanagar kings have effective fighting force with which they brought the entire southern peninsula under their control. Consider the following statement. First, the growth of socialist tendency in the national movement led to the foundation of Congress Socialist Party in 1934 under the leadership of Acharya Narendra Dev and Jay Prakash Narayan. Second, 1936, Jawaharlal Nehru urged the Congress to accept socialism as its goal and to bring itself closer to peasantry and working class. Which one is correct statement? So answer is C. Both one and two, dono hi statement correct hai. That is the growth of socialist tendency, national movement lead to the foundation of Congress Socialist Party in 1934 under leadership of Acharya Narendra Dev and Jay Prakash Narayan. And second one is also correct. That is in 1936, Jawaharlal Nehru urged Congress to accept socialism as its goal to bring itself closer to peasantry and the working class. Which consider the following Jat Pisan leaders of 17th and early 18th century: first Badan Singh, second Raja Ram Jat, third Gokul Jat, fourth Chura Man Jat. Set them in correct chronological order. So answer is A. That is first three, two, four, one. First is Gokul Jat, then Raja Ram Jat, then Chura Man Jat, and lastly Badan Singh. Next. Which one of the following pairs of authors in Sanskrit literary works is not correctly match? A. Somdev's Katha Sarit Sagar. B. Ashvagosh Buddha Charita. C. Bilhans Vikrama Dev Charita. D. Kalidas Vasvadatta. So incorrect among these is D. That is Kalidas Vasvadatta. Vasvadatta written by Shubh Bandhus. Among the following, which one has been accorded the status of UNESCO World Heritage Site recently? A. Chausat Yogini Temple near Morena. B. Sri Kala Steshwar Temple near near Tirupati. C. Ramappa Temple near Varangal. D. Manju Manju Natha Temple near Dharmasthala. So correct answer is C. Ramappa Temple near Varangal recently accorded the status of UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next. Early Buddhist sculptures did not show Buddha in human form. Through which of the following symbol was Buddha presence shown by early sculptures? A. Empty seat and stupa only. B. Wheel and tree only. C. Wheel, tree and stupa only. D. Empty seat, wheel, tree and stupa. So the correct answer is D. Empty seat, wheel, tree and stupa. Which one of the following works was composed by Krishna Dev Rai on state craft in Telugu? Correct answer is A. Amukta Malayada. Amukta Malayada is an epic poem in Telugu composed by Krishna Dev Rai of Vijayanagar, translated to one who wears and gives away garlands. 
It describes the story of wedding of the Hindu Lord Vishnu and Andal, the Tamil Alvar poet and daughter of Periyalvar at Sri Rangam. Which of the following terms were used in the Indo-Persian sources of Mughal period to denote the peasants? First, Rayat. Second, Asami. Third, Muzaran. Fourth, Mazur. So, first, second and third statements were used to denote the peasant that is Rayat, Asami and Muzaran. Next, the year 1916 is an important in the Indian history for first lucknow session of the congress second congress league pact third formation of home rule league select the correct answer so the first second and third all three statements here correct that is 1960 16 may lucknow session hua tha congress league pact hua tha and formation of home rule league consider the following statements first the early sikh gurus were religious preachers and did not interfere in the politics but guru arjan extended his good wishes for the rebel prince khusro second guru arjan attempted to organize the finances by introducing the system of more or less compulsory spiritual tribute to be collected by his agent called masands इन में से कौन सी स्टेटमेंट सही है तो दोनों ही सही हैं दैट इज फर्स्ट वन भी करेक्ट है दैट से इज द अर्ली सिख गुरु व रिलीजियस प्रीचर्स एंड डिड नॉट इंटरफेयर इन पॉलिटिक्स बट गुरु अर्जुन एक्सटेंडेड हिज गुड विशेस फॉर रिबेल प्रिंस खुसरो एंड सेकेंड वन इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट विच से इज गुरु अर्जुन अटेम्प्टेड टू ऑर्गेनाइज द फाइनेंसिस बाय इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द सिस्टम ऑफ मोर और लेस कंपल्सरी स्पिरिचुअल ट्रिब्यूट टू बी कलेक्टेड बाय हिज एज एंड कॉल मिसंस Consider the following statement. First, under the Akbar, the system of zabt was established over a large area from Punjab to Awadh. Second, in the 17th century, North India, the system of zabt lost much ground to the system of kankut. Which one of the following statement correct? So here only first statement is correct that says that under the Akbar, the system of zabt was established over a large area from Punjab to Awadh. Akbar introduced this new system, land revenue, land measurement system known as Zabti, covering from Lahore to Allahabad, including Malwa and Gujarat. Under this system, the sown area was measured of the bamboos attached with iron rings, originally associated with Raja Todarmal. Therefore, sometimes it is also called Todarmal Bandubar system. अगर वीडियो अच्छी लगी हो तो लाइक एंड शेयर करें एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग